been interested in psychiatric research really since I was a medical student. It seemed to me then, and it does now, that this you know, is one of the great challenges facing modern medicine. The genetics of schizophrenia has really been transformed over the past five years. Five years ago, we knew that the disorder is genetic. Now we have a wealth of evidence telling us that really disorders like schizophrenia, the genetic component is very complex. It involves many genes, hundreds of different genes probably. What we want out of this work is to start to get a handle on the biology. What are the genes telling us about schizophrenia? And I think we're starting to get enough data that we can do that. And this is really very exciting and is I think beginning to tell us where in the brain we should look and it's actually where in cells we should look. And we feel that the, this, by discovering the, 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 the genes, if you like, we're, we're priming this next stage of development and so, and we, so that we hope that in the future um, people will benefit through having new treatments. Well, it's a great honour to receive the Lieber Prize. I've been really delighted by it. Having the approval of your peers, of other distinguished scientists um, who are saying that you know, they admire your work, the best compliment that you can get in science. The question I'd most like to get the answer to over the next five years or so is really the, the extent to which schizophrenia is caused. I think there's going to be a lot more to come from genetics. We've only just got the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm.